Hello friends, welcome to your own channel Reveal A to Z. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can find out whether a number is a prime number or not. So let's start this video. Now how you can check for a prime number is, uh, the method is very simple. Every prime number is in the form of 6n plus 1 or 6n minus 1. This is a very peculiar property of each and every prime number. Now if you take an example, suppose if you take an example 173, 173 is actually a prime number and it follows this property that it is equal to 6 into 29 minus 1 that is 6 into 29 is 174 and then minus 1 is 173. However, this rule has a problem. By this rule you cannot be very sure if it is if a number is following this rule uh, then it will be a prime number. However, if a number is not following this rule then you are very sure that it, that is not a prime number. For example, if you take 35, now 35 also follows this rule, 6 into 6 minus 1. However, 35 is not a prime number. Now, we will take another example 18,749. 18,749 is equal to 6 into 3124 plus 5. Now, 18,749 when divided by 6 will give you 5 as the remainder. So, you can be very sure that 18,749 is a, not a prime number. So, you have to use this method in a reverse way. Okay. Now next method, for smaller numbers for 3 or 4 digits number you can use this method. What you have to do is, you have to check, for example if you have to check whether 157 is a prime number or not, just find the perfect square that is closest to 157. So the perfect square that is closest to 157 is 12 square. So 12 square is equal to 144 and then you can see that 13 square is 169, you have to take the smaller number 12. Now what you have to do is, you have to check what are the prime numbers smaller than 12 smaller than 12 so the prime numbers that are smaller than 12 are 2 3 5 7 and 11 then divide this 157 by all these prime numbers if it is divisible by any of the prime numbers then it is not a prime number and if it is not divisible by any of the prime numbers then it is a prime number 157 will be a prime number if it is not divisible by 2 3 5 7 or 11 you just don't have to check for any other number you just have to check for only these five numbers so you two it, it it won't be divisible by two it is not divisible you can see that it is not divisible by two and five then three seven and eleven you have to check and then you can be very sure whether it is a prime number or not so you can use these two methods to check for the prime numbers okay now i'll tell you some cool facts about the prime numbers 1987 1993 and 1999 are called a sexy prime triplet and 1987 is also called as a lucky prime. Every even number greater than 2 can be written as a sum of 2 prime numbers. Every even number greater than 2 can be written as sum of 2 prime numbers. You can take any number and it will be written as a sum of 2 prime numbers. So whether it is uh, 6 that is 3 plus 3, whether it is uh, 8 then it is 3 plus 5 and so on. Now 1 was already considered as a prime number till the mid of the 17th century. Now 1 is neither a prime number actually and not a composite number also. 73, 939, 133. This is number has a very strange property. If you keep removing a digit from the right hand, then each of the remaining number is also a prime. So if you remove 3 at the end, then the number remaining 73, 939, 13 is also a prime number. If you remove another 3 also, then 73, 939, 1 is again a prime number. So if you keep on removing all the digits from the right hand side, the number left is a prime number. So I hope you, li you would have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thanks, thanks for watching.